In this video, I'm going to walk through how to perform an XLOOKUP in Excel. I am using Microsoft 365 Excel on a computer running Windows. The process is the same on a Mac. The XLOOKUP function allows us to look up and retrieve data from a specific column in a table. For example, if we have the two-letter abbreviation for a state, we might want to look up the full state name. We are going to walk through an example of how to use XLOOKUP function on, in a basic situation. The advantage of XLOOKUP over VLOOKUP is that the data in the column you are looking up does not need to be sorted in alphabetic order, nor do you need to refer to the entire data table. XLOOKUP is more efficient than VLOOKUP. This page is a screenshot of the main worksheet we have for this demonstration. We have a set of insurance sales records. The insurance variable cost percentage varies depending on the state and type of insurance being sold. There's a field called state type that identifies the state and type of insurance. We need to pull that information from a table in another worksheet that lists the percentages for each state type combination. Our objective is to fill in the variable cost percentage column in this main worksheet from the information in the other worksheet. Here's a snippet of that second worksheet that contains the variable cost percent for each state type combination. The variable cost percentages are in column B. This worksheet contains data down to row 246. We need to add the variable cost percentage to the main data worksheet. Click in cell I2. The variable cost percentage is in the variable cost percent worksheet that we just saw in a screenshot. To get the variable cost percentage for each sale, we will use the XLOOKUP function. You will click on cell IT2 in the main worksheet here to insert the formula to look up the variable cost percentage from the variable cost percentage worksheet. Type the formula into cell I2. The formula is equal XLOOKUP H2 variable cost percent A2 to A246, variable cost percent B2 to B46. We are going to walk through the elements of that formula next. Let's look at that XLOOKUP formula that we just typed into cell I2 so that you can edit it appropriately for your own use. After typing in XLOOKUP, the first term is the cell that contains the state type code in this worksheet, which is cell H2. This cell contains the cell address for the information in the worksheet that you are currently looking up, the cell that has the data you need to look up in another location. In this case, cell H2 contains the state type field for row 2. Next, we would point to the range that contains all the state type codes. We would point to the range of cells that contains the lookup information. Here, the information we need is in a separate worksheet named Variable Cost Percent and can be found in cells A2 through A246 in that Variable Cost Percent worksheet. Next, we would point to the range that contains all of the Variable Cost Percent data. The information we need is in the Variable Cost Percent worksheet and can be found in cells B2 through B246 in that variable cost percent worksheet. Notice that we put dollar signs to fix the location so that when we copy the formula down to the other cells, the lookup range remains the same. This type of reference is referred to as an absolute reference. You can use the F4 key when in the cell address part of the formula to have the dollar signs appear. Copy the XLOOKUP formula down to the remainder of the cells in the column by double-clicking on the small square or handle in the lower right corner of the cell containing the X formula, XLOOKUP formula. Here's a close-up of that box or handle that you double-click to copy the XLOOKUP formula down to the rest of the column. We can see that the variable cost percentage for each row of data has been filled in all the way down the column. That's it, we are done. This video was created and narrated by Dr. Wendy Teets and is part of the Excel Skill Builder video series. See accountingisanalytics.com for additional faculty and student resources.